thanks for tuning into Beanie TV. This is your girl Beanie, and today I want to talk to you guys about growing up without a dad. So Father's Day is right around the corner, and I enjoy Father's Day now, and I'm happy I can enjoy Father's Day now because I have three amazing uncles who took care of me when I lived in Brooklyn, and those are like my those are my dads now. Like I love all of my uncles in Brooklyn. They always make me laugh. They're always there for me, and um. Yeah, I'm happy that I can now celebrate Father's Day fully. And um, when I was growing up, I did not grow up with my dad. And I feel like not growing up with a dad, but still growing up around male figures. You know, I had my two uncles, um, other uncles that lived with us in the house in New Jersey. And then I had my brother, who's younger than me. But, you know, I was still surrounded by a pretty good male influence. But... To me, there's always going to be just this one little thing like missing. It's like you're not you not getting to experience something like there's still always going to be that wonder of, oh, my God, what if what if I have a what if my dad um, lived with me or what if my dad was there for me when I was like younger or a teenager or whatever. You're always going to have that little thing in you. But, um, you know, like growing up with just my mom, um, Sometimes it was sometimes it was hard. I think the hardest parts were when like there were school functions and everybody would have both of their parents and I would just have one or I would have none cuz she was at work or at school. And um that's the only time most mostly only time when I was little and I'd be like, "Dang, I don't have both parents. That sucks." You know, but then when I get home, it's like whatever. It's like a fun house and um yeah, we had like a full house when we were younger, but it was so much fun. But anyway, so um, when I was a teenager, I feel like I was yearning for love, and maybe I was yearning for love because of the absence of the of my dad, a male figure's love. You know, like obviously I had my mother's love, but you know sometimes you just need that duel. And um, I think when I was a teenager, I was searching for love in like all the wrong places, all the wrong guys. And especially when my dad died when I was 18 in college, I clung, clinged, clung, clung. <laughs> I clung onto this one guy and my best, one of my best friends, she was like, Abina, I think that you clung onto him for so long, especially like right after your dad died is because that's how you were mourning. And I never thought about it. Like literally we, we had an epiphany epiphany about this like last year and I clung onto that boy and I tried to like make it work and tried to find love in him and that was for many years of that that was just me mourning the loss of not ever being able to talk to my dad or hang out with my dad or anything like that and you know when you're you're younger you're like yep when I get older me and my dad we're gonna get to know each other it's gonna be awesome and then when you know he passed away I'm just like like what what can I do now now I just have to live vicariously through stories and photos and things like that but um one thing I started seeing about myself I was trying to tell myself a story oh because I don't have a dad I'm this way oh because I don't have a dad or I only grew up with one parent I'm this way and you know I had a long talk with my mom and she was like I'd be like that is just what society wants you to believe they want you to believe oh because you only have one parent or because you didn't have a father you are going to be this way and that is not true you know what happens what happens to you is just more to add to the story you know it's more to add to to the story that God has for you you know, and my mom and my grandma say all the time, if my dad was with me, like, I would probably be super spoiled, and I would not be a hustler, and I would not, I don't think I'd be here in LA if my dad, you know, raised me and was still alive and all of that. So, like, you know, everything happens for a reason, and and I've, I've released, you know, I've released pain that I had. Like, I couldn't even think about my dad without crying, like, after he passed away. And, but now, like, I just think, like, wow, you know what, you know, when my mom tells me great stories about him or, like, funny stories, I'm like, wow, what a great person. Like, you know, I'm happy that he contributed in making me. And I'm done telling myself, you know, the story that, oh, because, you know, I didn't have a dad, 
it's easy for me to disconnect from people because I, I really felt like anytime a friend would do something to me, I would just be like, okay, whatever, bye, bye, I don't care. And I think that for a long time, I think I was telling myself, oh, because I only have one parent, it's easy for me to disconnect from people. And it's like, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess that's still, this is me rambling, sorry. I guess it's still, that could still be true, but I don't know. I don't want to tell myself any stories like, oh, because I didn't have a dad, I'm this way. Of course, having only one parent does affect a child um, and it affects you as an adult. It does. Like, you can't say it doesn't, but a lot of people hold on to that story and make it themselves and make it their identity. And you cannot, you cannot say because, you know, I didn't have a dad, I'm promiscuous because I didn't have a dad I I'm hurt and I'm mean to people like you can't you can't do that you have to heal and and by the grace of God like I have been able to heal from any sadness and hurt that I've had you know about um my father not being in my life but the uncles that I have in Brooklyn are hilarious and they love me for me they let me be my wild crazy self like i can be myself a hundred percent with my uncles and i just love them they're like big brother uncles you know like they 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 speak to me sternly when they have to but um like i love talking to my uncle de bones about like pop culture and and i love introducing him to like new parts of the city and I love my Uncle Kofi. He is hilarious. He's an amazing, amazing guy. Survivor of so many things. And um, no, I love, I love being able to celebrate these men in my life during Father's Day. And there are a lot of men that I know that are amazing fathers and so good to their children, so good to their sons and daughters. And Forget what society says about growing up in a single parent home. Forget what society says that like black men don't take care of their children. That is not true. And I know that everybody knows somebody that everybody knows um, an African-American male who has a child who takes care of his child and loves his child. Just go out and celebrate that one male figure that you have in your life let him know that you love him you care about him and that you are so appreciative of everything that he's done for you you know celebrate father's day whether you have a father or not celebrate it because men especially now deserve to be celebrated celebrate them have a cake and a party and just celebrate their lives because that's what you're doing you're celebrating their lives so um yeah, if you grew up uh, with just your mom or anything like that, please share your story in the comments below and let me know how that has affected you. Um, please feel free to uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Beanie TV, and I'll see you guys next video.